Hello guys, in this tutorial we are going to be creating this motor blower assembly and we are going to go down by creating each piece. So the first part we are going to create is the upper housing. So start a new part file and on the right plane, start a new sketch and the unit is going to be in inch. So let's draw a circle. and draw a line somewhere on the bottom it's going to be an horizontal line click that line and holding down your control key click the origin point add a midpoint relation so you have something like this then we can use trim to closest let's trim this bottom part out then let's draw another line here something like this and now let's add our dimension let's add a dimension down here it's going to be 15 and let's add another dimension here and it is going to be 0.4 then we are going to trim the excess out let's add a dimension to our circle it's going to be a radius of 6 and now we have a fully defined sketch. Then we'll come to feature, extrude. Then we'll change it by the mid plane and the distance is going to be eight. So if you have something like this and click okay. Next, we are going to draw this piece and let's click on the right plane again and sketch number two i'm going to bring this right here let's draw another circle so click on this bottom edge and just draw a circle something like that and let's draw a line going up something like that and um let's draw another line coming out from the quadrant coming out like that and I am trying to let's draw another line here we are going to delete those lines but I'm just so trim this off so essentially this is what you want so you only want this arc um then I'm going to delete this line because I don't need it so you just want something like this and let's click this circle and that circle and make it tangent to each other and let's add some dimension this is going to be 10 and the dimension from the center point to this line the end of that line is going to be um, 6.15 6.15 we have a fully defined sketch and we are going to exit and let's come to feature select on uh, reference geometry plane and we want to select our our front plane right select the first reference plane as your front plane and for the second just select this point so your first reference plane will be parallel. Your second point will just be that point and click OK. And I'm going to auto resize my plane. Now do the same thing from, for this. So pretty much I have this plane over here and I'll click that plane. Let's zoom in, select that plane and let's draw a sketch on it. All right. I'm going to go number two and I'm just going to draw a corner rectangle not that um a corner rectangle use a corner rectangle so draw something like this and I'm going to select that line holding down the control key select that point and add a midpoint relation and I'm going to go number two again and now I'm going to add this dimension 
So it is going to be 4.2 and this is going to be 5.75. We have a fully defined sketch. Let's add our radius, which is 1.5. Click fill it. Change your dimension to 1.5 and add your select yes, select yes, and add your fillet and click OK. So when you are done, you should have something like this and exit your sketch. You should have something like this. Right? Now we're going to come to feature, sweep, and for the sketch profile, you can click on this drop down, select the sketch three, which is the profile we drew. And for the part, select, you can either select it here or you can select the sketch. And it should create that for you and click OK. Good. So I'm just going to hide this plane because I don't need it anymore. And next, we can cut the hole in it. And to do that, let's go open, sweep, feature, and let's just show this sketch. So we are showing that's um, the path. Select this face and sketch. I'm going to go normal to. And what we want to do is we want to offset entity. And it's going to be this edge. This entire edge. I'm going to select it. And reverse. And the distance is going to be 0.25. It's given right here. So it's going to be 0 0.2, 0 0.25. And click OK. So we have, we've offset it 0.25. And exit your sketch. Next, you just come to your feature. And select swept cut. For your sketch profile, select that sketch. You can Click on the drop down, select that sketch. The part, just select the same part we used to draw the first one. And it should give you that sweep cut and click OK. So now we can hide that sketch. We don't need it anymore. The next thing we are going to do is draw this part. So select, come to reference geometry, select plane. And for your first reference plane, select plane one, which is right here. And you want to offset it. And the distance is going to be 5.75. So under this diameter, type in 5.75. And click OK. So for our first, select this face. And sketch. And select that face again. And convert entity and exit your sketch. And we'll select our plane two, sketch, normal two, going to move it here. Again, draw a corner rectangle, something like this. And um, to center this, we can just use a line. We can either use a line or if you hover over this top line, it should give you that orange, which the orange dot is your midpoint. Select it, holding down the control key, select your origin point and add a vertical relation. Or you can draw a line up like this, a construction line up and put it to the midpoint of that line. It will give you the same thing. Let's add our dimension. The dimension up here is 7.25. And the dimension down, going down is 5.25. And this top line is on this face. So we'll just select this line and this top edge and add a collinear. We have a fully defined sketch. Again, we'll add our radius, which is on 1.5. So select fill it. Yes. Yes. And we'll select all four corners and click OK. And exit your sketch. 
So I'm going to hide my plane because that is always. So you should have a sketch here and a sketch there. Come to feature, loft, click on the drop down, select your sketch five, which is the sketch over here. And we are lofting it to sketch six. And if yours is not forming well, just click any of this point and drag it. And you should have the point going like this. So it would work that way. Then come down to thin feature. And we want to change this to 2.5, 0.25, I mean. And instead of um, extruding it out, we want to change it in. So make sure you change it in. Check the merge results. So you want to merge the results and click OK. Select the right plane and sketch normal two. I'm going to move it. Let's draw a circle on our origin point, something like this. And let's draw a line from the quadrant to the quadrant. And now let's trim the bottom part off. And this radius is going to be 5.75. And let's come to feature, extrude cut. And we are going to change the direction to the mid plane. And the distance is going to be 7.5 and click OK. Good. So we just cut that bottom piece in. So let's select normal two. So um, make sure you have your part facing this way. Select this face and sketch normal two. So it is this view over here. Let's draw another circle from the origin point. Draw a line going from quadrant to the quadrant and trim the bottom part out. Let's add our dimension. This radius is going to be 4.875. And we come to feature, extrude cut, and it is going to be up to next. So it's just up to that face. Click OK. We'll do the same thing to cut this out. Select this back face. And sketch. Number two. And I'm going to draw a circle. Draw a line from quadrant to quadrant. Trim the bottom part out. And let's add our radius. It is going to be 1.5. And we'll come back to feature. Extrude cut. And it's going to be up to next. And click OK. Next, we are going to cut those holes in. Your professor wants you to add different configuration for this part. So that's why they have these dimensions for this hole. So this is what we are going to do. Select this face and sketch number two. I'm going to bring my sketch over here. And I'm going to draw two circles. Right. Um, select both circles. Make them equal to each other. And I'm going to draw two circles more. So draw four circles. I was going to do it a different way, but we can do it this way. And, and I will explain at the end of the tutorial why we are doing it this way. Select all four circles and make them equal to each other. Select all four circles again. The point, the center point of all four circles, select the center point. And I think it's a horizontal relation. So add a horizontal relation. Good. So now we can add our dimension um, from the edge. And I'm trying to look at that. From the edge to the center point here is one. From here to here is two. Not 22. Good. Um, instead of, we know this is two. And this is two. But later on, your professor wants you to change the configuration. 
And when you change the configuration, if you add your dimension this way, it is not going to look proper. So what we will do is we will add another dimension on this end. One. And we'll add another one here. Two. So do it this way. And let's add our dimension for that diameter is, is which is going to be 0 0.41. And we need one more dimension, which is that 0.75. So from there to the center, from the edge, from the edge to the center, if I can select it, it's going to be 0.75. Good. Our sketch is fully defined. Come back to feature, extrude cut, and it's going to be up to next. Click OK. Next, we'll just mirror that to the other side. Select mirror. And we are going to select the plane, which is going to be our front plane. And the feature we want to mirror is the cut. You can select this drop down, select the extrude cut, and click OK. The last thing we need to do is just add our fillet. And the fillet for this is 0.5. Select fillet. And let's change it to our dimension to 0 0.5. 0 0.5, and we'll select that edge and click OK. Even though this sketch doesn't give it, if you look up, you can tell there's a fillet there. There's a fillet there, and it looks too sharp on this edge. Let's just add another fillet, and let's try two and see what two looks like. Select this edge. That looks good, and click OK. And that is how you create this first part. So save it as the upper housing, and in the next tutorial, we'll continue building it. I don't want to record everything in one video because the file is going to be too big to upload. So we are just going to work on each piece one at a time. Thank you, and I'll see you later. Bye.